Hi, everyone. Welcome to a comprehensive guide to the home buying process. Today, you will meet a panel of experts that will be part of your home buying process. Let us welcome all the panelists. We have here Abby, and she is the accountant that you need to talk to. We're going to have Erin. She is the lender from eMortgage. We have Walt with Flow Home Inspection. We have John here with Brightway Insurance. And we have Lily Linehan with Title. These are the faith and these are the people that you going to meet along the way when you are thinking about buying a home. So let me introduce first the first and foremost, first important person that you're going to meet before you thinking about buying a home is Abby. Let her tell you what is the process gonna be. Give me one second. Hi, Abby. Hello, Tina, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you? So oh, I'm okay. gonna give you the screen so that you can tell people what they need to know. Awesome, thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Abby Joseph. I'm with Serenity Financial Services, where we specialize in accounting and taxation for individuals and small businesses. Um, we've been in business for seven years, and we are an advocate for small businesses because we do believe that in order for our small businesses to grow, they need us behind them. So as an individual that is looking to either purchase, if it is your first time purchasing a home, um, the first thing that you wanna do is reach out to your accountant. You wanna make sure that you have all your financial documents in order before you actually go see that lender or before you start even speaking with your realtor. Um, a lot of our clients, before they go purchase their homes, the first thing we wanna let them know is that, okay, you wanna gather all your paperwork and and you may wonder, okay, what are those paperwork? You want to gather your paperwork and documents that you'll need to buy a house. And those documents will be most likely your lender is going to request four weeks um, of your pay subs. They're going to need your 1040 tax documentation. Um, all of our clients usually receive um, one as a PDF file, or we usually also provide them with a paper copy. So you want to make sure you have that on file. If you don't have it on file, reach out to your accountant because that's going to be very important. Not only will you need your current tax return, but you'll probably need your previous year tax return. And even before filing your tax return, if you're thinking of purchasing a home, reach out to your accountant, verify um, what information that you'll need, what your net income needs to be, what your gross income needs to be, what is it that you can deduct and what you cannot deduct as an expense so you'll know exactly um, all the documentation. Again, this is Abby with Serenity Financial Services where we specialize in taxation and accounting and serving, we take a pride of serving you. Back to you, Tina. Thank you so much for that, Abby. And the second person, after you're done talking with Abby and she showed you what you need to do, the second person that you need to talk to in this process is going to be lender. And I have Miss Erin here with eMortgage. She's going to tell you what you need to get yourself pre-approved for a mortgage. Your turn, Erin. Hey, hi, Miss Tina. Hi, everybody. Erin Baer here with eMortgage Management. Thank you so much for having me today. So this is great. I, uh, I love everybody coming together to kind of talk about the different aspects. So uh, from a lending aspect, generally speaking, when you're looking to buy a home, you know, we're definitely one of your first stops um, to sort of walk through the process, take a look at, you know, what type of budget you may be working with, you know, what does credit look like, um, what documents you're going to need to have together, um, whether or not you're going to, going to need it to file another tax return, you know, with the accountant and things like that. So all those things are kind of upfront things that we can help you with. And even if, you know, you're not sure or you're thinking about, hey, I'm not sure where my credit is. I'm not sure what we can afford. Absolutely. I mean, we're always here to talk to you. We can kind of start the process with you and take a look at, you know, 
what different loan types may be the best for you, um, as well as kind of helping you to understand um, what the payment would look like from property to property. You know, so between Tina and myself, you know, we're able to say, okay, cool. Well, here's your budget. And, you know, are you looking for HOAs? Or are you looking for, you know, different types of communities, things like that? And we can kind of back into what makes the most sense for you. It's a very simple process. Basically, it's an online application takes about 10 minutes and we can get the ball rolling and I can kind of give folks an idea, you know, is it a now thing? Is it a two month thing, three month thing, six month thing? And actually, you know, many people are surprised that we are able to work with, you know, lower credit scores. We're able to work with um, higher debt to income ratios than most banks and things like that. So, you know, um, it's very often that we can get folks approved even when they, they think they may not be ready yet. So we are always happy to help. I can be reached at 774-563-5764. And I believe that there'll be links in the the end here. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Erin. Thank you so much for letting us know what the lending process is going to be. All right. So after you are pre-approved or pre-qualified with the lender, I am the next person in the process. I am a Florida luxury realty realtor and this is the process where this is the fun part it's the part of you guys are going to find a home for you and i always tell my client um it's a 80 20 percent rule um when i take my client to see a home um imagine there is no 100 percent perfect home so what i usually tell my home buyer is if you find a house that have 80% of your checklist and that the other 20% is potential, chances are that can be a perfect home for you. Uh, Obviously in the home process, we'll go and we look for home. And then, you know, we, uh, if you love the home, you want to make it yours, we have the offer process. And when that is done, you and I We'll do all the offer, we'll negotiate the price and find the best price that you're going to be happy with. Then we're going to talk to inspections. Um, inspection is when you you got the good to go on an offer. You are under contract. Now is our turn to see if there's anything wrong or if that house need to be fixed. And that's going to be our Walt, he with Flow Home Inspection, and he's gonna give us a little bit more detail about the process. Hi, Walt. Hello, everyone. Nice to be with you today. My name is Walter Clark. I'm a licensed Florida home inspector and the owner of Flow Home Inspections. And I'd like to share a little information with you all today about home inspections. Uh, So, A home inspection is a detailed examination of a property uh, in order to generate a report. And that report can be very useful to you in several ways. It's going to give you a repair list. Uh, It's going to identify any safety issues there may be with the home. And uh, that's one of our priorities. We're also looking for any defects there may be. Um, Normally, I've never done an inspection where I didn't find some item. And so the first thing I'd like to tell you all is don't be upset when you get a home report and it's full of items. There's going to be several items on the report. Um, It's going to be the same for every house. Um, We're not unfortunately there to tell you all the good aspects of the home. We're we're there to tell you the problems with the home. (laughs) So, but these are things you need to know. Um, Also, something I'd like to share with you all is a lot of our buyers come from other states and uh, sometimes they don't have a, uh, they don't think that the home inspection process is necessary. Uh, One of the advantages of Uh, the state of Florida is that home inspectors are licensed and regulated. We're trained professionals. We're going to give you the accurate information that you need to help you make the home buying decision. And uh, the repair list will also maybe give you a little ammunition for a negotiation. Um, So uh, any any questions that y'all might have about this process, please feel free to call me. My number is 
584-3647. Uh, thank you. All right, Walt, um, I have a question. Uh, what sure. are the type of inspection that people can expect to get when they are looking to have a home inspection? Right, well, there's the home inspection itself is a pretty thorough detailed examination of the home, generating the repair list I spoke about earlier, identifying every issue. We're gonna check every component subsystem of the home, it's very thorough. The next type of inspection is gonna be a four point inspection. That's gonna be necessary for your insurance. And it looks at just the major components of the home, four points being roof, HVAC, electrical, and plumbing. A uh, third type of inspection you might get is a wind mitigation inspection. That's also for insurance purposes. That's going to be looking for any uh, impact resistant glass you may have, uh, hurricane shutters. It's going to be looking at the roof to wall and roof to deck connection. And these are all items that your insurance underwriter is going to be able to offer you discounts for. Okay, and then especially in Florida, don't we have another kind of inspection that people really need to look into called termite? Um, that, that's inspections. Yes. <laughs> that's a different inspection, but yes. And if there is any, that's not an inspection that everyone's going to need to have. If there is any evidence of pest intrusion in your home, I will find it during your inspection and I recommend a detailed pest inspection at that time. Okay. Thank you so much, Walt. And obviously, after the inspection is done, um, the next step in the process is for you to find shop around for your homeowner insurance. And I have John from Brightway who's going to join us and give us a little bit of detail about that process. Go ahead, John. Hey, everybody. Uh, my name is John Semanchik with Brightway Insurance. Um, Good news is insurance is probably one of the easiest steps in the process. Um, one way or another, you'll get in touch with me, either from Aaron, Tina, or even the inspector. Um, we'll go ahead and take your information, basic information, name, date of birth, the address of the property, um, and we'll shop around for insurance. The, the good thing about Brightway Insurance, we have over 200 companies, so we have more accessibility to markets than almost anybody in the state of Florida. Um, we're the seventh largest uh, brokerage in the United States, so we have options. We don't typically have any obstacles, whether your roof is old, whether your AC is old or anything like that. We have um, options for everybody. That's the good thing. Um, if you're in flood zones, we also offer flood insurance, which is going to be a big part of the uh, home buying process as well, being in Florida. Um, I do work very closely with the inspectors, um, so the two inspections that he mentioned, the wind mitigation and four-point inspection are typically required. Uh, four-point inspections will typically only be needed for older homes over than 20 years. Um, the wind mitigation, though, I always, always, always recommend getting because at bare minimum, the money it costs to do the wind, mit wind mitigation, you will easily save that year over year on your insurance. Um, so definitely get with him, get all those inspections. They are quite important. Um, and like I said, we'll just kind of take it from there, shop your home, shop through the markets. I'll typically give you two to three options to choose from. Then you'll reach back out to me. We'll tailor the quote to fit you kind of a la carte as you see fit. We'll go over the dwelling, your personal property, other structures on the property, and we'll tailor it to fit you personally. And then all we do is send it off to the lender and it's typically paid at closing and you're good to go. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any other questions, uh, my information will be at the end. Thank you. Thank you so much, John. And that is how easy the process of buying insurance for your home is. But remember, guys, um, I usually recommend shopping uh, for insurance quite early in the process just because it takes a while and you want to make sure that you have everything for lenders to get all their paperwork so that they can send it to title is when everything are going to be put in package and get ready for your new home. So I have Lily here with us today and she will tell you the process of having your house closed. Hi, Lily. Hello there, I am Lily. I'm here on behalf of Call Title. I apologize, I can hear everyone now. 
there for a moment. Now that we have all the information from all our representatives, we are going to start working on the file. What that involves is we will get a notification from the lender asking for a title request. In that title request, we will have um, the lender uh, giving us the buyers, the borrowers, and also we'll be receiving the contract. So with that, we will have, um, we will reach out to you and find out how title's gonna be uh, delivered, that's vested. And while that's on the, in the works, we will be receiving our title commitment, letting us know that we have um, uh, what we have to work on, what needs to be uh, taken care of. So we will be calling you that way if you have a payoff on your property, if you have any uh, liens on your property, we'll get that taken care of and reach out to you to get it resolved. And do we, um, what about title insurance? Can you give us a little bit more information about that? You are muted. Can you unmute yourself? Could you hear me now? Yes. I am so sorry about that. Okay, so the title po policies and what a lot of people don't, don't realize, we the, the policies are not set by the title companies. They're actually set by the state, the state of Florida. So depending on what amount and the purchase price of the home, it's, it is the promulgated rate by the state of Florida would tell us what we need to charge. There is, however, a simultaneous uh, policy and that's the, uh, uh, that's on the, uh, and I apologize, on the owner, on the, uh, on the lenders, it's called a simultaneous policy. So there is a discount in that respect in which the buyer supplies and has it available for the, for the lender. All right, guys, so here you heard it, the whole process of buying a home from us, from getting yourself ready, talk to an accountant, to talk to lenders, talk to a realtor, then inspections, then an insurance person, and then title. This is a process that it takes a long time to do it. It takes a great team to work with. So if you are thinking about purchasing a home and if you have any other question that we haven't covered on this video, we're gonna have our information at the end of the video. Please reach out to every single one of us. If you have questions, we'll be more than happy to explain to you the process. Obviously, every process, it's a little different, but just remember that all of us are the touch point that you have to get to, to get your process going. Let me get everybody back on the screen. Thank you so much, you guys, for being part of the video. I know that you are busy and I appreciate your time to show our home buyer that we are there for them and we are there to support them in this process. All right. Well, thank you so much for having us, Tina. Thank you. Thank you for thank having you. us. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you Bye. so much. Talk to you later.